at EK with the SEF group so I am a volunteer for uh, three years If it is you are going there, you are writing uh, in your back, you have a in the HIV. Before EK, we coordinate things like the water problems, waterborne illnesses, the malaria diseases, the like the family planning, and even we talked a little bit on HIV, but not so much. They didn't know the cause of HIV. Some believed on witchcraft; they are being bewitched. Uh, some were just on belief that if you do something wrong, you can be. You, you do something against the the, the need of the community. <laughs> and even if you know that he or she is put is positive, she can't come out and tell you anything. And she can even hide that problem to you. So they didn't address it because they fear or they had stigma, they fear. Well, OHR is the Organic Health Response and it's the umbrella NGO that runs the uh, EKL Akiona Center and a lot of other smaller um, outreach projects. Um, this community has a uh, a 30 to 40 percent HIV prevalence um, so it seemed like uh, if we wanted to get involved in this community then sort of working around uh, issues of HIV was paramount so we came up with the idea of starting a computer center where uh, you could come and get trained um, on a computer and have free classes in exchange um, you'd have to come every six months and get tested for HIV the project sort of grew and expanded and we built quite a large center to accommodate um, a whole bunch of different projects that would that would originate out of the center. Um, so at this point, we have a uh, very successful women's crafts group. Uh, we have the computer lab still. We broadcast an FM station here, music and public interest stories, um, all around the themes of public health and HIV awareness. And we have a bicycle project. The bicycle project came as a result of means of transportation along and around the highland. Since we have, like in Fangano, there are only two hospitals. So people come from very far to go for medication.
I'm called Samuel Okinyo Kech. Uh, I live here in Fangano. Uh, now I have uh, 50 years. My father was having a bicycle a long time ago when he was still in town, working in town. It was about uh, 10 years I was taking his bicycle and trying to practice to know how I can know how to, to ride. This is my first bicycle. When I, I got my bicycle, I was somehow not stable, but it took me about one month, then I was just okay. It didn't come out of my mind how to ride a bicycle. Yeah, actually, many people have been using these bikes. Actually, there is a serious need. And you'll find people actually coming to ask, hey, are there more bikes left? Hey, can I borrow this? So there is actually need and people are really okay. People are really benefiting from them. I'm the only man here in the island who has gone more than, I can say, 200 kilometers. I've gone far, as I know. Nobody has gone such a distance with a bike here from our island. I think I'm, I'm the one who has made it. I'm proud of that. When we have uh, we have planted the maize, and then monkeys will come down to eat, which have grown. That's why we have we are chasing them with the with the scared our dogs. When we catch a monkey, my my uncle, which that day we got at the lake, will cut them into half and then just cut pieces pieces then give dogs Kenyatta University is in Nairobi I have I have seen that school in a, a book or in a gazette it's so nice because uh, the uniform is looking smart. The books which you saw, read there, they are not torn. When my mother and my father is alive, when I have finished my school until now I'm working, I will just even say that, just say the thing you want. When I'm just getting a lot of money, yeah, I will just say that, oh, you want to build a, a big building? I'm just making. In my life, the thing I want to, we can do, we can go to the shake-up. But my husband, she don't see that one is no, it's good. She say, if it is you want to, we can go with you to the shake-up. You can live alone, and me and my, this, my wife, we can live alone. And me, I'm going to the checker on uh, every, after three months, I'm going to the checker. But I'm not, I don't have any 
HIV. But I'm thankful, Lord, because of that one. For my husband, when she took this woman, I talked with her, but I have uh, many problems. I um, struggle with my children. L last year, on September, until now, she don't know when I'm meeting, when I'm washing, when I get money, where I live, where. And if it is the I, I, I was sick, she don't know. So I don't know. I'm praying for God she can help me. We call this one Pondo for pushing the boat first a little bit than the rower. So this is what we do. You tie the, your, your tool so cool. That tool is a very much important tool. The reels are hard, but it really cuts them so easily. So these ones are the reels. So you get it like that. If you want to know the real picture of Fangano, maybe you cannot know it at daytime. If you want to know the real picture of Fangano, maybe you can go to uh, beaches at night and see the way people there behave, the way people there uh, look like, the way they do their things. In fact, you sometimes you can even cry. Another thing is a cultural practice called jaboya, which has been going on for many, many generations, which is sort of institutionalized uh, fish for sex, where a woman gets the right to buy a man's catch um, by having sex with him. Um, so that's been going on for, for a long, long time. And, uh, you know, with the phenomenon of HIV, um, that has just, you know, really contributed to it spreading. The HIV rate was too high in 15, 15 years back. And uh, there was no even uh, a way to prevent. There was, no, there was no training going on by that time about to know your status. Wadwa Victor, apa ni wabiro de maber, ike chuka wono wadwa kelo weche magi chiemo, kalo waregi kaka joma chon, nete du chiemo. There was money coming in and there was little education. All cash enters this island through fishermen, through these young men. So these are the guys with disposable income, these are the guys with cash. So these are the guys that, you know, are drinking at the bars and sleeping with prostitutes and then they pick up and they travel to the next beach and pick up another girl there. Uh, the behavior of people will also determine how much somebody has in the pockets, just as the nature of a fisherman. If somebody is sure of getting 200 kgs today and is even expecting to get 300 tomorrow, then a lot of immoralities could be expected. So there was a lot of uh, interaction. So uh, quite a number of things were really happening. And uh, you in, at daytime, you cannot know that there's anything happening in Fanga, but if you go to those places at night, you just get the real picture. Hello. Our Gambi one, 
The price is so high that a local person can't afford it. They're they're priced out of their own fish. They have to sell it, you know? Almost all the fishing practices that take place on Fagano Island are technically illegal according to the fisheries um, division of the government here. Um, any net that's being pulled is illegal. So all of the beach seining, where people put out a big net in a U and then pull it from the shore, any moving net is illegal. Any net with holes less than six inches is, is illegal. It's a really difficult thing because we can't afford we can't afford not to sell big fish and we can't afford not to eat protein. So uh, most people engage in fishing for small Nile perch. We had also uh, interfered with the breeding system of the of the fish. So if the small ones are caught, then expectedly we shall not have the big ones. It used to be a much larger percentage of, of people, men, were fishermen. Uh, nowadays it's a less dependable income and there's a lot less fish, so it doesn't give people enough stability to be able to save and, and plan for things like education, building a new house, investing in general. Thing, and for so many years it was just a death sentence, like, there's nothing you could do. A HIV drugs weren't available here until about five years ago. We have put a record number of people um, into treatment and they have stayed in treatment. So I definitely think that uh, our next surveys are going to be showing much better news. You know, I think we'll see the HIV rate, especially in this locality, I think we'll see it starting to reduce. I really do, I really think so. I mean, just getting on drugs first and being healthy on your drugs um, reduces the viral load in a, in a person's body to the point that it's very difficult to transmit. Also, taking drugs, you know, it's, it's an admission to yourself and probably to your family that you are positive. And uh, it's the first step in, in, uh, in the society coming to terms with, with this issue. They, they gave us some hope and that those who will be like, uh, join the EK Center, they will be prone to several things, like there will be computer studies, which of course, I also wanted to learn. 
uh, there will be some other services like medical services, uh, like things like emergency cases. And so to be part of this, I felt this one could help me and also to be getting something that can actually assist my family move ahead in life. Here at EK, we take public health. Um, we see public health as more than just a medical problem. You know, it's a societal problem, a social problem, and an economic problem. Um, so we're looking to understand the links between economy, you know, confluence of of Western society and traditional societies, you know, fishing industry, all of these things, like how that relates to the public health situation, because they're inseparable. Come on.